All right, here we are. Pop art paintings. This is where we're going to start giving you some information on how we're going to do our own pop art painting in color schemes. So let's get the painting uh, started by the drawing and selecting objects. So here's the idea. We are going to illustrate some two-dimensional product packaging from a grocery store in a pop art style painting. And we're gonna design it with a set of harmonious hues using values and intensities. Well, we've already worked with some basic hues and a color wheel. We've done a value scales and we've done an intensity scale. So we're gonna put these things into action. What we hopefully have done at this point, if you've watched the first video, is you've gone shopping online for some kind of grocery item or package um, that you would like to turn into your painting. Um, just like Campbell's Soup, right? Um, but you can't use that one because that one's already been done by Andy. Um, so let's see some example. Okay, so my sample was the Tostitos salsas, right? Um, so what we just did, hopefully, is we went shopping, you found something that you wanted to use, and you zoomed in really close on it, and you began to edit the photo. We cropped it, um, we clicked on the little icon at the top to turn it into a square, right? Um, we zoomed in on it, you saved it as some form of black and white, and you were able to save a screenshot of it with the little grids on it because the grids are going to match the paper board that you're going to draw on. On to the canvas board. So on the shelf um, over by my little wire basket where you all store your stuff on your shelves, I have a stack of the official painting boards. They already have, you're welcome by the way, um, the tic-tac-toe grid already established, just like you have on your image from the grocery that you just edited. So that's the same grid. That means you're ready to draw what you see in each of those different grid openings onto your canvas board, all right? So the grid on the photo and the grid on the paper help you to see in relationship to each other where all that information needs to go. So here is my finished one, because I'm doing one kind of just slightly ahead of you all. Um, so I took my Tostitos, right? And I had my grid drawn on my picture and here, and I drew out the best I could um, from what I saw on my image and what was here uh, on my grid, and then I finished drawing it. When you're done, once you get yourself all drawn, I'm gonna ask that you gently erase all of those original grid lines on your board because we won't need those later on. 